This is Steve Eimers. Please hit like and subscribe. I'm out here on US 321. There's going to be times it sounds like I'm shouting. This is a Trinity soft stop. There's several proprietary systems. These are guardrail line terminals that can only be installed with a very specific bolting pattern. They must never have the bolt passing through the rails. However, we have, like here, you can clearly see there's a hole. So there's a natural inclination. When you have the hole, you pass the bolt through the rail. I can tell you, I have documented multiple deaths across these x light Trinity Spotted Rail Terminal, the soft stop here, where we have the improper bolt replacement. January 2020 in Louisiana, somebody was killed with a soft stop where the bolt came through the rail. What I am doing is I'm putting a petition in to Secretary Buttigieg requesting federal guidance. Guidance is not legally binding, but it sets best practices. There's many, many solutions. I'm going to give you several today that we could implement at our state DOT level. Our contractors could implement them. Our manufacturers could do this. The first and most logical thing is if you can't have a bolt passing through the rail and it's that important, remove the hole. I have invented and applied for a provisional patent. I am not getting in the manufacturing business. You can have it for free. It's a cap. It pops on there. It prevents placement of a bolt through the rail. I, you could paint that bolt bright red so that we know that you don't pass it through the rail. You could actually put the bolt through the block out, super glue it into the block out, and then there's no possible way that you could put the block out and bolt through this rail. I have printed up these stickers. It says, warning, risk of death. Do not place bolt through the rail. I printed up a hundred of them. Watch how simple. I have solved that problem. That cost me $10 for a hundred. It's 10 cents. I have one of these up. I have a soft stop entrance of the Smoky Mountains National Park uh, near to it. It's got a bolt through there. It's going to cost Tennessee DOT $5,000 to replace that system with one that's properly installed or 10 cents. This guidance, it's not going to cost anything. And it will save lives and potentially millions of taxpayer dollars because we install our systems properly and we do not have to replace them. If you're a DOT, a contractor, a manufacturer, I'm asking for your support for my petition. We can save lives. We can save 